Your Zach Adyen here again today. It is Sunday, September 17th, I think. I'm probably full of twigs and branches from the stuff behind me. And uh, no, it wasn't my best idea to wear a white t-shirt today. However, I have an explanation. My intention was to go urban exploring. However, I'm saying however too many times. Anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, when I went to see to the, uh, the house that I wanted to explore in, the door was locked. So obviously I can't get in if I have to force my way in. So I have to wait, I don't know, however long it's going to take to uh, actually get that place to be opened up. So I decided to come magnet fishing instead so I wouldn't waste my morning. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day out here. So today I found a huge fan. It's about... I don't know, maybe two feet by two feet, or us metric people, 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. I have one at home just like it, actually, but uh, I didn't throw mine in the river, so I can't lift it up. I tried to get it up, and every time I do, it just breaks off another piece of the, the metal casing and falls right back in. So I'm going to show you what treasures I had today. All right, so I've got... I can't remember exactly in which order I caught everything, but there are of course the the usual, you know, nails and stuff in the in the river. This is actually a rechargeable battery. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed to find it in the river. It's rechargeable. Uh, anyway, the bottom fell out, so I can actually see what's kind of inside, but I don't dare to uh, pull this stuff out because there could still be caustic battery acid in there even though it is a small battery I wouldn't want to risk you know getting that all over my hands so that was an interesting thing to actually see inside a rechargeable battery well the bottom of it anyway and uh, I've got this which is a fishing lure thing it's uh, kind of you know old so I think it might have been used or in there for a while but there's a piece of metal right here in the head so that's what stuck to the magnet this was this was part of a fishing lure, obviously. It even looks like it's got fish scales on it. So, I don't know, maybe it was a spinner or something. I don't know, but it, I think it was supposed to be the type of lure that would look like a fish. And I, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm making an assumption here, but I think there might have been two parts to it. And, of course, I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, well, you know, just let me know. This is another spinner or part of a fishing lure. This one would not have had two sides and of course the paint is coming off right now which is a bit of a shame. I was I didn't know how I was going to explain to you guys what this thing is because it's missing a small part to it but thankfully I caught this not long after so you can actually see what it was because <laughs> the pieces are here. So this is what attaches to either your uh, lure or your hook for your fish and it just kind of closes up again when you push the thing in so it's still got you know the ends to it both ends to it i should say so yeah that's what that was except mine isn't bent over like that it's more like this one here so that was interesting small screw so i don't know if i can focus or not but i'm trying to so that's that this is just literally a piece of metal that came up and it's not attached to anything but it has i don't know if you can tell in the camera but it's got layers like you see what i mean like the layers so anyway i don't know what it was part of something obviously but it's metal i thought it was a rock but it's metal i didn't pick this one with the glove because it's really dirty another you know spike Oh, and here's another, here's another spike. What makes me happy is at least I'm cleaning out the river. Interesting is another one, but this is like the inside of it, <laughs> of another screw or spike or whatever. So that one's been in there for a while. And bottle caps. I got a few bottle caps, actually. This one, I don't know if you can see it, but it was 7-Up. This one... Oh, 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 they're breaking apart because they're so fragile. It was Diet Pepsi. This one was also Diet Pepsi. This one 
gee whiz, I'm not 100% sure what this one was, but it kind of looks like a Diet Pepsi one again, or a Pepsi one. So that's interesting. This is a beer one. So this one would have been blue. I think it's Labatt Blue, but I'm not 100% sure. This one, I'm sure, it was from a schooner, a local delicacy in the Maritimes. So schooner beer. Uh, whoops, so fragile. This is from a Keats. So this is a Keats bottle of beer cap. And this one here, not sure, there was a something stuck to it, like a rust thing, and when I took it off, it kind of took off the, the paint too. But it, it looks like it was blue, so it could have been either pop or another one of those uh, schooner or the Bat Blue uh, beer cups. And uh, I don't know why, but this came up with the magnet. Oops, it's supposed to be blue, but I dirtied it with my fingers. Oh, there you see it. It's blue. So it came right up on my magnet, and it was it's magnetic. So obviously there's a little piece of metal on the underneath, and it comes off as something which I was unable to pull up, unfortunately. Look at the bottom of the log. There's another screw and another regular battery, and then just a little piece of metal there. So yeah, so, uh, oh, I've got a couple. I had a couple dragonflies on me. So uh, anyway, that's what I found for today.